My name is Reverend Michael Capato. I'm a minister in Detroit, and I want to say unequivocally that black lives matter and that we need to do something to end the unrestrained violence perpetuated on people of color by police across this country of ours. I'd say great country of ours, but for my African-American friends and neighbors, it's simply not. And that has to change now. As a white male minister and spiritual counselor, I enjoy many privileges and safeties that others in my profession don't, simply because of the color of my skin. Four years ago, Charles Kinsey, an African-American therapist in Florida, was shot by police while counseling a distraught person. This happened while his hands were in the air and he was saying, don't shoot. When I was a seminary student, I once sat on a curb like Mr. Kinsey did, comforting a woman whose son had just killed himself. The police were all around me and nothing happened to me. The officer who shot Mr. Kinsey later said he didn't know why he pulled the trigger. Let's not kid ourselves. We know why. I believe in law enforcement, but I also believe that there needs to be fundamental changes in how it's done. I urge lawmakers to seriously look at reforming how policing is done, especially in the black community. Not just on a city by city basis. These things must be done on a national level. I believe all law enforcement officers need to go through a licensing program and be credentialed, just like doctors and lawyers, and to a lesser extent, ministers like me. And that license should be revocable for acts of misconduct, preventing them from being hired in any city as police officers, sheriffs, campus police, or whatever. As a requirement for licensing, all officers must complete implicit bias, de-escalation, racial and gender-based sensitivity training. A law was just passed in my state this week. This needs to be implemented nationally. There needs to be a national registry of officers who have been recommended for termination due to misconduct, and the registry needs to be online and available to the public, not hidden behind the thin blue line. There must be effective civilian oversight boards on the local level with powers to investigate and subpoena, and independent investigations must be conducted in all cases where police kill or injure people. We need to respond to mental health crises with health care, not police responses. There has to be an end to broken windows policing and the unnecessary prosecution of low-level offenses. Stop and frisk and other forms of harassment must be banned, and we have to remove the profit motive in policing. Law enforcement should be about protecting and serving, not profiteering. There is so much more I could suggest. This is just the tip of the iceberg. But the bottom line is that we need to do something and do it now so that my African-American friends and neighbors don't have to fear dying during traffic stops, walking down the street, or sitting on curbs at the hands of those sworn to protect and serve them. God bless you.